Pioneers of Hip Hop. So to kick off, we have a very special guest in the Wayfair VIP Lounge. He is one of the most in-demand DJs on the planet. He spun at both Obama inaugurations, as well as at Jay-Z and Beyonce's wedding. Not too shabby. Give it up for DJ Cassidy! Hello! What's up, man? Oh, uh, thank you for so, having me. So, DJ Cassidy, you've been a DJ for a long time, and they say a DJ was credited with starting hip-hop. So can you tell us about that? In 1973, a young woman by the name of Cindy Campbell asked her brother, Clive Campbell, to throw a back-to-school party in the South Bronx. And that man's name was DJ Cool Herc. He got all his vinyl, and he put them out, laid them out, and said, I'm going to create something new by playing the breaks of these obscure records. Yeah. And he played the breakdowns of funk records, disco records, soul records, R&B records. And those people dancing to the breaks of these records became break dancers. And this was the first hip hop party of all time documented. That's why this year we're celebrating 50 years of hip hop. That is a cool story. I didn't know that. I feel like my first, like I grew up in church and I feel like the first time I ever heard like a preacher really preach, that's what it reminds me of, like hip hop and rapping in general. It reminds me of just somebody that is so good at sharing their testimony, like what's happening in their lives and, and how it's evolved. And it's like almost like preaching in a sense to me. That's how I received it as a kid. And it's and, a call and response. Yeah, you know, it's really the nice. MC and the audience. For example, if I said to the audience, when I say Kelly, you say Clarkson, you would say, when I say Kelly, you say Clarkson. There yeah, you go. There I you like go. it. We didn't plan that, but I just like hear my name. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, Cassidy, you've done a ton of big shows and projects. So what do you have going on right now? So during the pandemic, I created a series called Pass the Mic, where I would invite iconic hip hop stars onto my show to sing along with their most iconic records. Mm -hmm. And after 10 episodes, the show took the world by storm and featured 220 of the most legendary hip hop and R&B superstars of all time. And this year, 2023, I'm taking Pass the Mic on the road with Pass the Mic Live to a theater or an arena near you. So it's a very exciting year for me and for Pass the Mic. And I'm gonna be passing the mic to so many hip hop icons throughout the year. That's incredible, man. What a great idea.